Wrong button. Now I'm gonna be confused on controls. This was a great idea. Hi, hey, Mom. Oh, why is my phone all the way over there? Okay. Can you watch clips on the Twitch app? This is something I probably should have checked beforehand, but is that something you can do? Well, okay, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Fuck, I can't press buttons properly. I probably should have done this beforehand. But I need somebody to do me a favor. And that would be for a cl for clipping. I need somebody to clip for me. We're gonna try to do this now. But you remember Blockhead Grande? We ran into Yeah, this guy. I just need somebody to clip the weak points for me so I can so I can watch back the clip and get the weak points for this fucker. Twi I have Twitch pulled up on my phone so I can watch the clip. Hi! Ready? So if somebody could clip that, just the weak points there, that would be great. Really fat, yeah, quick. And then link it in chat. Not sure how much time you should get. We should have. We should have plenty of time. But I don't know exactly how much time you get for being able to do this guy's weak points. I guess we'll find out. Twitch. What? It wants me to log in? To watch the fucking clip? Fucking hell. I guess I have to log into the app on my phone. I can't do that and do this at the same time. We're gonna have to try again. Letting me click off and then still. Fuck! Okay, we took too long. Alright. Let me, um. A screenshot's not gonna work because we have to do it in the correct order. We only get so long before it decides that it's something else. This is gonna work, okay? This is gonna work. I just need I just need to fucking log into the Twitch app on my phone, apparently. Back is killing you? Oh, I'm sorry.
Oh, oh no, I don't, I'm not having trouble. Oh god, I'm a mess today. myself because I, I don't know why you would have to log in to the twitch app to be able to watch clips but apparently you do just um oh fuck I need to do I use the authenticator app for this yeah now it's letting me watch the clip <laughs> That's great. Fuck off. Okay. Let me open back up my stream. We can do this. Alright. You uh re ready for ready for trying again? Technology. to remember that without cheating you fucking don't that's 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 the thing you don't why won't it replay come on play good but the twitch app is really stupid because it won't replay the clips over and over again it just it plays it once and then it goes to a different stream which is so stupid unlike on the browser okay I got I gotta I gotta be more patient let's let's try this again No, don't. Leave it the way it is. I'll just, I'll pause it. Ready? Boom. gotta be more a I gotta take my time a little bit more and be more accurate I'm just I'm getting I'm jumping the gun a little too quick just gotta be gotta take my time just set him on fire I wish but he is kind of made out of stone so that wouldn't work Pause right in the middle and then watch. Okay. He's 
music makes me nervous, you know? Because it's like, oh god. Yes! Fuck you, buddy! Fuck you! Huh? No! This cannot be! You have struck every last one of my weak points! And after I train so hard to cover them up, your sight is not of this world! <laughs> it is like the eyes of the gods! O oh, white demon of death! Behold, the moment of death is upon me! May this image be burned into your eyes for all eternity. Oh, it will. Trust me. It's gonna be burned in my eyes. It already has been the first time I did this. Ayo, I'm a ego. <laughs> Lockhead Grande. I'll see to it that your epic tale lives on forever. <laughs> Okay. That's the only thing in this game where I would need outside help. I should be good with- we should be good with, like, everything else. Or nachos del grande! Fuck, no, I want nachos. <laughs> yeah! That's one of the more difficult stray beads. In terms of, it's a pain in the ass. That's one out of three stray beads off the top of my head that are like the worst in this game. I'm gonna save immediately. I'm saving immediately. I'm saving right now. We're gonna go back and save. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, what were we doing? I just wanted to, I wanted to get that over with. I just will get one of the bad ones out of the way. Before we head up to Webkir, head over here. God. How did that work and the previous circle didn't? I don't understand this game's logic about circles. Oh, I need three more praise. I did not notice that. Bears, the tiny heads. You want your fish? Thanks for the amount of praise that I needed to upgrade this. A lot of stuff's getting expensive. Should be able to get enough praise. Hey, Jamie, we just did like the worst thing ever. Be happy you missed it, because it was a pain. Mark of protection of the Oina tribe here in Kamui. Forget about this place, we have better things to do. I mean, we'll have to go there eventually. that giant blockhead with the eight weak points. I had faux clip so that way I don't have because like who's supposed to be able to remember that many weak points in that order? 
it's one thing to have to remember them just in general, it's another thing to have to get them in a certain order. What am I feeding? Bunnies. Ones love greens, they sure do. Whoa. Like the whole village has been frozen solid. I wonder if anyone's still alive. Well, that's a reassuring thing to say. Oh. Ball. 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 It's supposed to go. <laughs> Hello, is anyone alive? I know this place is kind of frozen solid, but. you know, what are... more buns. <laughs> All about his life, yeah. Bet you can't wait until we have to roll that somewhere, huh? Store won't budge. What fire? Fire post. Fire post. What? All oh, these? That? I didn't do anything. Let's just melt the snowball. Oh wow! It didn't melt. The fuck. time. Shit! Oh! Oh my god. Get out. Can't hear one a day. That's all. I, that's your, your. That's your vitamins. Oh, good. The store won't budge. Is that what you're gonna say about every door that doesn't budge? Because um, I think it, it probably is. Standing in the snowman. Oh. 
All right. Well, we're just gonna have to find a door that will open. See this? Oh, I forgot to change. It still says Genshin. Whoops. I have to make the Minecraft sheep noise sometimes. They don't even go bad, they go, they just go, ah! All A's. Exactly. Uh oh, somebody's pissed. Oh, this, this bitch. Hi. Halt. Oh, goes there. This is the house of the village elder. If you need something from the elder, you must go through me. I'm S Sam, Samical, Samical. Samical? I don't know. Top warrior of the Oina tribe. Sheesh! What does this guy think he is? Sheesh! <laughs> At least we finally met someone from the village. So what are you doing, standing around in the middle of this blizzard? Hmm? Grating voice. Is that you, Eason? What in the world are you doing with that strange white wolf? That's none of your business, pal. Anyway, what's with this village? It's a total mess. Is it true demons have taken over Izofuji? Must have got, been gone for some time if you don't know that. Save your questions for when you get back to your own village. Not your pal, guy. Yeah. That is, of course, if it hasn't already been buried by the snow. Oh, and take that suspicious wolf with you, too. Why you little- About <laughs> your guy friends. <laughs> We're done talking to you. Let us into the chief's house now. <laughs> your friend, pal. <laughs> no. May not pass. Normally don't even let strangers into the village. This oh, is it? Okay told the villagers not to let them into their houses. Well, obey me, for I am Thamical, chief of Wepkir. Be on your way. You wanna fucking fight me, bitch? Hold on a second. You? Chief? What happened to old man Kimu? He didn't buy the farm, did he? Cool. Of course he's still alive. He's been greatly weakened battling the demons. Now their hideous monsters are trying to finish him off, since only the Elder's volcanic incantation foil their plans. That's why I became chief of the village. A 
must protect the Elder from the monsters lurking in every corner. Be on your way. Well, okay. Let us buy! You want us to make you? Sense extraordinary power in this white wolf. If you do not heed my warning, I'll devour you where you stand. Be on your way. Still as stubborn as a mule, I see. Come on, Amy, I've had it with this village. Yeah, me too. That's... What a jerk. You're gonna be like that? We're not gonna help you. That's how it's gonna be fine. Then we'll just fuck right off. Hey, wait. Hmm? You guys, wait up. Well, I'll be. I haven't seen you in ages. Eason, it is you. I thought I heard you talking to, to S We'll just call him Sam. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Just thought I'd come back and see how things were after my trip. Can't believe what's happened in the village since I've been gone. That Sam's still as stubborn as ever. When did he become chief? Well, a lot's happened this past year. Look, you'll freeze if you stay outside too long. Why don't you come rest in my place? Bring your white wolf, too. And if I just, like, raid your house first? Fucking... At least the cold is a bit more bearable inside. It's really been ages, hasn't it, Eason? It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance as well, Wolfie. I'm Kai. This here's Amaterasu, otherwise known as No Bath Ami. Ami has a lot of nicknames. Now let's cut to the chase. There's so much I want to ask you. First of all, about those demons that are plaguing Kamui. What the heck brought that on? One knows for certain. Those twin demons, Lechku and Neshku, were sealed away by a brave Oina hero years and years ago. And they have been enshrined at the Waku Shrine ever since. Wau Wauku? I just saw, I've always called it Waku. But I guess it's like Wauku. Wa Wauku? I don't know. And one day they suddenly stirred and went berserk. A terrible blizzard descended upon Kamui. Kimu set out for the shrine at the top of Izofushi to pacify them. But they nearly killed him. He was no match for their evil magic. Sam managed to get him just in time and bring him back. They got even more violent and turned Izofuji into a glacier. They unleashed a blizzard to smother Kamui in a layer of ice and snow. Chief, Chief Samical's... Samical? I don't know. Just trying to protect the village while Kimu recovers. There's nothing we can do against those demons. We really are in a fix if old man Kimu's prayers don't work. The day before the twin demons suddenly went berserk, I heard what sounded like an earthquake from Shinsu Field to the south. On that faithful day, Kimu declared that the evil force from the south had made its way here to Kamui. Kamui is sometimes called the land of hidden darkness. There's a legend that says all demons are born from the land. I wonder if all the world's demons are coming back to Kamui now. 
black shadow passed overhead from the south recently and vanished into the Waku Shrine as if it had been swallowed up. A migraine. Oh no, Jamie. Sorry, Jamie. Actually, I think the blizzard's been stronger since then. Hi, there's something else I want to ask you. What's Oki doing with the sacred sword Kutone? I saw him with it outside the village. How could old man Kimu let him take it at a time like this? Oh, you met Oki? Left here with our sacred sword the morning after it all started. As soon as Sam was chosen to take Kimu's place as chief, Oki just took the sword and left without permission. from the village have tried to persuade him to bring it back, but Oki chases them off. Thus will defeat the demons himself. He just walked away with the sacred sword? He didn't even ask permission? Well, everyone admits Oki's a great warrior. Sam does. It's impossible to defeat those demons all by himself. I just don't know why he did it, now of all time. Last thing, Kai. It's about Sam. He seems awfully nervous about protecting old man Kimu. It's because of Oki, isn't it? Well, everyone's angry at Oki for taking the sword like that. But you see, well, Sam would never say it. But he believes in Oki more than anyone else does. Just refuse. Take something, Jamie! I had to take painkillers and an allergy pill today because I'm just in pain and my nose itches and my head hurts and I have cramps. It's convinced Oki will come back and help the village. Well, then why do you have to snap at us like that? even told Furball here to get lost. Well, the day after the village was attacked by the demons, Lika went missing. Lika? As in, Lika, you're... That's right, my little sister. We scoured the village and the surrounding area, but we couldn't find her. She just vanished. But poor little Lika, too. Why would those demons mess with a little girl like that? Oh, well, for sure, if the demons are behind her disappearance. Jamie. Yeah, that would cause an issue, for sure. That's why you're supposed to take them consistently. You would certainly have reason to seek her out. See? Lika, Lika holds the fate of this village in her hands. The fate of this village. It was Kimu's howl. It's calling to you, Eason. He's summoning the both of you. Not cold for ages, but it sounds like he's come too. Better not keep him waiting. You don't want to be rude. aren't working and you do take them? That's because antidepressants can take up to a month to work properly. And when you take them, and when you don't take them or you take them inconsistently, there's a good chance that they'll never start working for you. So you have to take them consistently, otherwise they might never work. He's still pissed! Look at this guy, he's still fucking pissed! Yeah, what do you think now, bitch? What? You still got a bone, bone to pick with us or something? Elder summons the white wolf to his home. May enter. Well, it's about time! Out of our way, chump! Ugh! Yeah, he's still pissed.
New glasses. Got your new glasses? I don't know if you like them. I feel the same way, like, with my glasses whenever I first... Um... When I first get my new pair of glasses, I'm always like, hmm, do, do I like these? Do these look good? I'm not sure. And then I have to wear them for a little bit, and then it's like, okay, yeah. This... What's that? Vitalo... Man. Oh, Lexapro. Okay. I don't know. If you've taken it for a while and you don't know if it ever worked, maybe it's time to try something new. Oh, so this guy, is he dead? The village elder, old man Kimu, but... Looks like he might have already kicked the bucket. How many times did Gramps here tan my hide? Ah, this is no time to be dredging up the past. Who was that bad-mouthing me? It's like there are some hides to be tanned! Oh! Ah! Dude! Chill. Yeah, that too. Um, antidepressants, it's really hard to tell if they are working properly, because they take so long to work in the first place. Like I said, it can take up to a month to notice anything at all. Um, but if... Have you seen your doctor yet? Sister Ni, you're still, okay. Then you might wanna try something different. You might wanna ask him about, about maybe trying something, about maybe trying something different, cause sometimes, sometimes they just plain don't work. Um. No, well, that might be that might be something to do. Talk to him about potentially getting on something new or different. Um, because you know, is that the first medication that you've ever taken? Like the first antidepressant you've tried, or have you tried other ones? What happened? Is that a dream? Was I sleepwalking again? Sheesh! Old man snooze a lot. Tans hides in his sleep, too? Why? Is that little Eason? So then I wasn't dreaming. Thought I heard Sam talking to someone outside? Must say, Eason. Grown. Barely at all since I last saw you! Aw, oh, put a cork in it, Gramps. Did you summon us just because you wanted someone to clobber? Huh. Yes, let us get down to business, eh? It's the white wolf I wish to speak with. I've been on... I've been on uh, the search relene. I've been on Simbalta. I've been on... I've been on, uh... Axel. You know, there's a, the, the good thing is with antidepressants is there's a lot of different kinds out there. The bad thing is, is there's really no way of knowing what works until you try it. No doubt already heard this from Kai, but her little sister, Alika, has gone missing. Yeah, we know about that. She disappeared about the time the demons started running amok. That's right. But her disappearance threatens the very existence of our village. And I've been on a bunch of, like, add-on type medications, and none of those have worked for me. They've just made me even worse. <laughs> uh, Kai said something like that, too. I can see why you'd be worried. 
Don't you think you're exaggerating a bit? No, you're not exaggerating. Besides, you've been gone so long. How could you possibly know? It is. It really is frustrating. Is that? No, it's his belly button. <laughs> Lika has gained spiritual power far beyond my own. <laughs> oh my god. Her power is now the key to saving the land of Kamui. Huh? You saying Lika's power can defeat those demons? Pam, does your husband have nipples? <laughs> Not exactly. There's another reason we need her power. And it's for Izofuji, protector deity of Kamui. So Fuji. I like that man's uniboob and uninipple. Does your husband have a single nipple? Uninipple? <laughs> Thank you, Z. <laughs> Do you know, Zofuji is formed from two active volcanoes on a nipple. Each year, I recite the volcanic incantation. It triggers an eruption that warms this frigid land of Kamui. The demon's power has plunged Zofuji into an icy slumber. Day by day, Kamui grows weaker and weaker, colder and colder. We don't have Lika recite the volcanic incantation soon. The land of Kamui will become an icy tomb for us, for us all. Why don't you just recite the incantation yourself, old man? I would if I could. I no longer have the strength to pray in this raging blizzard. Any idea where Lika could be? problem. I searched high and low for that girl with no luck. Still, there's one place we have yet to look. Where? Yo Yoshpet? Yoshpet? I don't know. Mysterious Forest of Deception. Not a faint whiff, whiff of Lika emanating from Yoshpet. After all, I do have the keenest nose of all the Oina tribe. I suspect she could be somewhere around here on your map. Yeah, we know where it is. I'd like you to conduct a thorough search of that forest. You gotta be kidding me! I wouldn't touch that place with a ten-foot pole! The white wolf, or our last hope. Not me? Chief Sam must remain here to protect the villagers. I know he about an 11 foot pole. Just left the village on some fool's errand. You're the only one left. Hold on a minute, old man. Do you even know who this furball is? <laughs> Nipple. <laughs> Not mock me, little sprite. That pure white coat. Those crimson markings. And that divine instrument. This is none other than the legendary wolf, Shiranui. The name is known far and wide, even in this distant land of Kamui. But I never dreamed the legendary wolf yet lives. <laughs> God damn it, Jamie. <laughs> well, actually, this here is Shiranui, please. You must help us. I think I must recite the volcanic incantation soon. Yeah, okay. Beg you, you must find Lika. Warn the villagers to be wary of strangers. But I will make a special exception for you. And I will open the village's far gate that leads to Lao Chi Lake. You should get what you need from the village before you set out. There's a place to go into which we rarely dare venture. Okay. Okay, but don't I need, like, an item? Oh, hey, it's open! Go, 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 go! 
Open door! Oh, okay. The altar where the sacred sword Kutone was enshrined. It's a great view of Lauchi Lake and Isofuji from here. That's why they come here to pray to the mountains each year. Too bad the sacred sword isn't here now. The altar is also dedicated to the Ark of Yamato. It's said that the Ark has been frozen in Lauchi Lake for countless ages. Look, you can see it down there in the frozen lake. The Ark of Yamato. So Fuji and the Ark of Yama- Stop mentioning the Ark! We know about the Ark! Okay! Very sacred place for the Oina tribe. The Ark! There it is. Final part of the game is right there. But it's frozen in the lake. It's stuck. We have to get it out of the lake. But that's the point of no return. Uh, getting onto the Ark is the point of no return. Might as well run around here. What game after this one? I have them listed. Um, I'm gonna be playing Death Road to Canada and Danganronpa. Because... It's October, so I want to play some zombie game and a murder mystery game. Is there nothing under this rock? To the n oh, I do have Crypt of the Necrodancer. Forgot about that one. I do that instead of Death Road. What's going on over here? Monkey. No, you guys don't want to see Don Gun Ronpa. You want to see all of them? Oh goodness. Um. Oh my. <laughs> Let's see. We'll see what we can do. We could probably switch around. We can switch around Death Road and Crypt of the Necrodancer, because they're both games where you like what you do, like a run through or whatever. It doesn't have to be all this. Okay. Uh, Dangan is going to be the big one, because it's like visual novel, murder mystery type thing. Ah, yes. Sure is dark. Yeah, so is, so is Death Road. Um, Death Road is, it's a game, it's kind of like Crypt of the Necrodancer in the sense that like, you do like a run, you do like a run of the game. Like, and it only takes like, 
you know, an hour or so. Like, to my knowledge, Necrodancer is like, what you, you go through until you either win or you just fucking die or whatever. Yeah, Death Road is like that too. You go until you either reach Canada or you die along the way. And, um, a run takes probably like about an hour or so. Oh, there is? Okay. I don't know that much about, um, Necrodancer, so. But if it's something that can be run in, like, pieces. Like that. Like how we can run through a whole Toho game in like, you know, like half hour, 45 minutes sort of thing. Yeah. Know who you are? Yes, that divine look of yours is unmistakable. You're the legendary white wolf Shiranui, aren't you? Wow, I've heard that name here too. I suppose Shiranui's legend did travel across the sea to Kamui. Yes, it really resonates with the Oina because they're so spiritual. Oh, Isa! It's been quite a while, so you're still alive. Oina Shaman Tuskle. Are you ready to kick the bucket yet? Just left on a little trip, that's all. Well, I'm glad to see you safe. As you can see, we haven't been so lucky here in Kamui. Since the monsters were revived, many people have lost their lives. Yeah, I've heard all about it. So what's up with those demons coming back? And where the heck is Lika? Demons have shut themselves up in Izofuji's Waku Shrine. They're responsible for the fierce blizzard raging throughout Kamui. Managing to keep some of it at bay thanks to Afungate? When the day comes, Kamui is sure to freeze over completely. It's not what worries me most, though. What worries me is how the demons were revived in the first place. Kimu noticed it as well, but just before the demons made their return, a dark force traveled here from the southern land. Both felt an evil energy flowing into Kamui. That's when the demons woke up, as if in response to it. Southern land? Oh, she must mean Nippon. In other words, she's talking about the return of Orochi, Ami. And so many monsters here in Kamui. Some people even call it the birthplace of evil. Can't help thinking all of this havoc in Nippon is its root in Lauchi Lake, the eternally frozen lake at the foot of Izofuji. There's a large lake called Lauchi at the foot of Izofuji. I think the reason Kamui is called the birthplace of evil is because of the Ark of Yamato is that rests that, in that lake. Ark of Yamato? Anyone from Kamui knows that story. It's said that the legendary Iron Ark fell from the heavens. Grandpa used to tell me that story. Long, long ago, in the Age of Myths, an Iron Ark fell from the celestial plane above and sunk into Lauchi Lake. The celestial plane was the land above where gods dwell. The Ark! <laughs> Gods are known as Celestials there. The Ark that the Celestials were on came crashing down to this land. It was as if they were being chased by something. What they didn't know was that on board with them were countless monsters. One by one they were consumed till all the Celestials were dead. Once the Ark crashed, the monsters disembarked, 
and started ravaging the lands. The world hasn't been safe since. <laughs> yes, the Ark, the Ark of Evil, Evil's Ark. Poison for Cusco. Cusco's poison. That that the monsters still rise from the lake's depths. Disembarked. <laughs> Must be why they call it the Lake of Demons. That's about all I know about it. Hmm. I do have one thing to add to that. And that's the story of the one surviving celestial of the Ark. The Ark fell to this world from the celestial plane. full of monsters which killed the celestials on board. The Ark's not a god, the Ark's just a Ark. <laughs> it's a boat. The legend tells that there was one man who survived. He managed to escape from the hell that the Ark had become. He then fled going into hiding somewhere in our world. Hmm. First time I heard that. I... <laughs> I think you can guess who that person is. One dude that fled and is still alive. Hey, the reasons... The reason monsters still emerge from the Ark in Lao Chi Lake is that the ruler of darkness is still searching for that man. Nipple man, no! It's someone who we've met before multiple times. That's all I'm gonna say. I will neither confirm nor deny if you say any names in the chat of who that one person is. Ruler of darkness? Do you have a name? All just a legend. No one knows if it's true or not. No one has ever set foot on it. The Ark brought tragedy to our world, that's for sure. <laughs> you guys! The powers of darkness in the world are gathering in Kamui. I believe it's because the Ark of Yamato is beckoning. Hmm? I apologize for chatting so much. Now, if you've come all this way, Am I to assume you have Kimu's permission? I speak of permission to enter Yashpet, the Forest of Confusion. Yep, that's right. Okay, good luck, Fo. Yeah, Eason doesn't want not want to go to the forest for a specific reason. Really couldn't care less, but Ami hears another story. The entrance to the forest is sealed with the Oina Crest our way of protecting the place from evil. There's no way that I can break the seal. But if the Elder has ordered your entry, then I must comply. <laughs> yeah, be more original, Z. I expect us to mention it every 30 seconds. Oh my god. Shiranui, you may have the Oina amulet. Oh god, these are all very difficult words. Sua Prolo? That sounds like- that sounds like an antidepressant! <laughs> that sounds like a fucking antidepressant! Yeah, I forgot to take my Sua Prolo today, let me go do that! <laughs> that amulet, you can pass by the Oina Crest unhindered. And you can proceed on into Yashpet. If the Elder has deemed it to be right, there can be no mistake. Or the one who can find Lika. Find her before it's too late and Kamui freezes over. There. So we had to talk to her to get a bunch of story and to get the crest in order to go into the forest in the first place. But yeah, the arc is the end game here. But first we have to go into the forest and then we have to go through the shrine. So there's still more to do. And then run back and get all the beads. At least we got the... the real pain in the ass bead out of the way. Yes! 
The do the wolf has a butthole. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. Yes, this is true. Are they are they, they are they just not supposed to? Are they just supposed to have perfectly smooth butts? Oh god, why am I having this discussion? Yes. <laughs> Elder must have summoned you because he wanted you to go to Yashpa. Right to take that charm if you plan on entering the forest. Yeah, we have it. Put a cork in it. We know that already. Wow. Eason. Then let me give you this bit of advice. It's like how women don't have <laughs> True. Not underestimate the land of Kamui. <laughs> Ever said I did. Cut me some slack already. I'm going to find Lika, ain't I? Warning you not to underestimate the power of nature. Yeah, no, I'm not underestimating this forest. Kamui is a harsh land, with or without the demon's blizzard. But you're a pond call. You should know all that, right? Do not get yourself killed by underestimating Mother Nature. Yeah, I won't. I'm not underestimating the fucking forest of doom. Hello, sir. Nice snake mask. Er, it's freezing. Kamui's been a mess ever since those demons went berserk. Villagers have been slaughtered. Poor Lika's been kidnapped. Body and soul like have been frozen solid. Anthony got his knockoff AirPods. Nice. You, village elder, has welcomed you as a guest. Want to use the opportunity to do a bit of shopping, huh? How about buying some local products, Wolfie? He's my Amazon guy carefully backs out of our tight driveway sweet great thing. Um the the thing with uh, the delivery people around here is that we have these like driveways on like there's f you know a few townhouses like connected to one driveway. So sometimes we'll just see a delivery truck pull into the driveway, look around at all the house numbers, realize that he's in the wrong driveway, and then back out and leave. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Resurrection beads. I'll take them. Thanks. I'm not gonna use them, but I'll take them. Because there's no signs telling you which what house numbers are in like the d driveway areas, so they don't know until they come in here. Jamie, <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah, I, I'd hate to be them. This is why I'm not a delivery person. Yeah, there should be. I know what happened. I mean, you're not wrong. You're definitely not wrong. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna take a quick break so I can go to the bathroom and get more water and stuff. And, yeah, you guys can uh, continue discussing... Uh, buttholes if you want. <laughs> I'll be right back.
Wow. Should I just stay broken for the rest of the stream then? Just broken stream? Okay. I think the best part is I heard my dad walking right by my room when I said nipple really loud earlier, so I'm sure he's probably just like, what the fuck? <laughs> to you about something? A little more than a leisurely talk. We're asked to go look for Lika and Yashpet. Yashpet? In the forest in the east? I don't think anyone's been there to look for her yet. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. The, like, literally, exactly. That's exactly probably what he did, too. Well, that doesn't sup surprise surprise me. Sup surprise. Sup sup surprise. Surprise. In that forest isn't exactly a prime tourist spot. Eason, are you really going to go back there? Who says I'm going back? I was using the royal we. Let's talk about furball here. Ashpet is like another world. Get lost and you might never return. Don't you worry, Amy here will find Lika. That's the case, I'll lead the way. What? I know you must be worried, Eason. But we haven't got much time. <laughs> what? Why is, why is... Why is it doing that to you? That is not what you pasted! Wait, what? Oh. You sure you weren't trying to paste Nipple Man? Uh, you mean? Demons are waiting for the day of darkness. Solar eclipse that occurs once every a hundred years. Again with a hundred years. Amu, you'll be in total darkness for a whole day when it happens. Not sunlight, and with the demon's blizzard going on, no living thing in Kamui will be able to survive the day. Only a few days until the day of darkness. God, saying darkness so many times, it's like, am I playing Kingdom Hearts right now? Lika's not here to recite the volcanic incantation by then. Terasu. No ordinary wolf, are you? The door to darkness! Kimu wouldn't have asked you to do this otherwise. Fear the reincarnation of the white wolf Shiranui. DTD! Yeah, the, the stretching heads is their talking animation. Be very strong. If you can cope with Eason, you miss Booba Lady. She's she dead. She hella dead. Your point is, Ari. Anyway, there's no time to lose. Lead you into the forest, Tamaterasu. And you're ready. Going ahead to the edge of the forest. Head stretches. Bah, 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 bah. 
you know, it's normal. We're the way of Kulon. I mean, we have Orca. Orca kind of reminds me of, of Kulon, but at least Orca doesn't fucking die. Mysterious forest of Yashpet. Entrance has been sealed by the Oina Crest. Did that to protect it from the monsters in these parts. The forest originally had its own power that kept them away. But I wonder if Yashpet has lost its power. After all, no place is safe from evil in this land now. running up to this and I was like, oh yeah, there's a new monster that's going to show up in this area. I forgot about that. And he has a B butt. The way is open for us. Off into the woods. Eastern forest. Ancient people of Kamui dubbed it Yashpet. It means consuming forest in their ancient language. Say the forest will swallow you up if you lose your way. I said she'd be waiting for us here. I where she is. Oh, hello! What are you doing here, sir? Hmm? Why, Amaterasu! Ah, not that half-baked prophet again! What are you looking for now, ma chérie? Still looking for you know what. This cold sure is making it difficult. We really care, pretty boy. You're gonna be dogging our tracks like this. Ha, huh, get it, dogging. Wolf, you know. Better tell us who you really are. I really am? That's right. I mean, we already know that you're up to no good. Excuse me, I don't know what you were talking about. Just looking for a certain path. I say I am a seeker of the eternal heavens. Ah! Now I know why you keep babbling on about a path to the heavens. You're planning a wolf murder! Then you'll take Amy's place in heaven! Wait, no. Huh? <laughs> By that look, I take it I've hit the nail on the head! It also explains why you keep turning up wherever we go. Path to the heavens? Bah! More like a highway to you know where! mean hell? You don't want to say hell? I'm pretty sure we've already said hell in this game a bunch of times. Understand me, my little bouncing friend. The path to the heavens I seek is not a vulgar thing such as that. The path to the heavens slumbers here in the land of Camus. I seek a heavenly ark. Heavenly ark? Right. Kamui, there is a ship of iron locked in ice. Fence it now. It's almost within my grasp. You too know this, do you not, Amaterasu? Hey, leave Furball out of this. Well, I must bid you adieu. No need for any prophecies this time. Au revoir. Oh, okay, bye.
We'll save just in case I manage to fuck this up. Okay. Been waiting for you, Amaterasu. Did you know that Yashbet means consuming forest? It's said that those who lose their way here can never escape. The monsters try to avoid the place as much as they can. Our tribe has long been entrusted with protecting this forest. That's why the entrance is sealed with the Oina Crest. Recently, however, the forest's power has been weakening. So it's hard to know what might be awaiting us inside. If we can make it deep inside the forest, we come to a special place. A secret place that humans can never reach. I had something of a connection with the place when I was small. That's why I know the way. Right, Ethan? There's a chance that Lika might be there. We're all depending on you, Amaterasu. Well, it's time to begin our expedition into the forest. Run as fast as you can. Are you ready to go? Of course. I'll warn you first. Do not underestimate this forest, okay? The tree pollen here has the power to confuse beasts. The Oina can't stay in here long, and I doubt you can either. None of us want to get lost in the blizzard and die out here. So make sure you follow me and don't fall behind. Spirits of the air, earth, and sea, protect us with your divine powers. Don't worry, she will be waiting for us, so she's not going to go too far ahead. Doesn't matter, it's not like it's really that easy to get lost in here anyway. Definitely some uh, things I'd like to take care of, that's for sure. We have plenty, plenty, plenty of time, so I'm gonna take care of all this while I have the chance. Excuse me, who threw that? Sir? Pizza? Pizza sounds good. Angie Orchard, yeah, literally, though. It's fine, we'll bloom them all, and then we never have to worry about them again. There's so many of them, god. This forest is pretty linear, actually. You can't really get lost in here. And it's good to take the time to learn the layout for a bead later. Yeah, pizza sounds really good. Made my tummy growl for pizza. I also don't want to miss any treasure. Fuck. Ow. Thanks. Is there nothing in these ice crystals? Kai's probably like, what the fuck? Why are they taking so long? And I'm just sitting here like, I want to get all the stuff first. I 
don't know that there's anything in any treasure chests encased here. Don't think so. Not about to go around melting all the ice. That's a lot of effort. Going that way, I'm going this way. I gotta make sure not to do that. Later. Tree. Oh, ow. I don't know. I don't know what happens if you run out of time. I guess we'll find out. Or maybe I should just, like, go. I say as I go, immediately go the wrong way. bead must be deeper in. There is a bead on one of the wrong paths. Oh fuck, I'm not gonna make it in time. So what happens? Just get thrown back at the beginning. Terasu, are you alright? Goodness, you'd have frozen to death if I wasn't around. Please try harder. Okay. Wow. Can't afford to waste time hanging around here. Okay. Okay, but are all the trees still bloomed? Chest is still open. 
Okay, all the trees are still bloomed. That's good. Alright then, we'll just take our time and go through here. It's best for us to get rid to uh get rid of all of these um more dangerous things lying around. For one of the beads later. Ah, we got ahead of her. Oh, if only I were that easy. They're on. Ain't a race. Not yet. Not a race yet. Gonna make it. Oh, barely. Direction is a shortcut. Hi, tree. That direction is also a shortcut. If you're going after all the beads, it helps to really take the time to learn the layout of this forest. Because, uh, oh god. Where is it? There it is. Missed! Stupid tree. Wanna try that again, bitch? That's what I thought. The more of this we do ahead of time, the easier getting that one bead will be later. That's still not going to be easy. Uh. Ice is slippery. Oh! Okay. 
going that way, I'm going this way. Split up, gang. There's the other bead. Should be, this should be, uh, yep, okay. We are. It's been a while since I was last here, so I wondered if I'd make it. You know, after all this time, it hasn't changed one bit. Materasu, this place is Yashpat's little secret. Welcome to Pong Tan. Home of the Ponkles. I'm sure Eason will tell you a lot more about it. Uh. Anyway, Kimu sends Lika's presence here, right? We don't find her before the Day of Darkness begins. If she doesn't perform the volcanic incantation, Emily will freeze over for good. I'm really counting on you, Amateras. Okay. We got both the beads that are out hanging around in, in Yash Pet. There's one more, but we can't get it yet until we reach the point of no return. Oh look! There's deer! A oh, deer. Love me. They better love me. These bunnies also better love me. Bunny. hasn't changed a bit. Yami, the Ponkle village Ponk Tan is in this tree stump. Too bad you're so big. I'm sure you'd like to go in there and chat with the locals. Hey, isn't that... Yeah, it's the Lucky Mallet. What's it doing here? Don't tell me it wants to repay you for your kindness. tools could be so loyal. This place has me stumped. Wow. Guess you could visit Pongtown if you were smaller. Well, for a ball, you gonna go in or what? Yeah. Really? Well, I suppose you could ask the villagers about Lika. We all have to go by yourself. I ain't going in there. This slick helmet of mine would get ruined in such a gloomy place. Yeah, sure. That's totally why you don't want to go in there. Not any other reason. Hi. Hello? Oh, 
Who's hanging out in my bed? Like there might be a kitty cat in there. An unusual customer. Say, you're a god, aren't you? Hardly see any here these days. Listen up, god wolf. I collect things I find in the forest. It's sort of a hobby. You wanna play shop with me? It's a pretty serious game. Very serious. Thank you, sir. Wielded by an eight armed beast god. Hey, you're a wolf. How'd you manage to get into the village? be fun playing about outside. Wish I could, but I have to practice painting the whole time. All of us here are given lessons by the village elder at Ishaku. We really strict sometimes. Got a long way to go before I become a great artist. If only I could paint like Isum, then I'd be able to help the gods. I was gonna fall to my death for a second there, but we're good. Fine, everything's fine. glitched out a second there. What the fuck was that? Sorry about that. I don't know what happens. It's small for a wolf, aren't you? Looks like you're wearing some kind of strange makeup. First visitor in this village who isn't a punk. Her name's Mia. Pleased to meet you. Now 
know, there was a lost child in the forest the other day. She wandered even deeper into the forest and disappeared through the spirit gate, looking almost possessed. The spirit gate is a relic that lies deeper inside the forest. A strange gate that takes you to another place and another time. People say that opening the gate invites misfortune. We Ponkles always make sure we steer well clear of it. When I saw the girl... Wondering? Wondering? Deeper into the forest? I decided to follow because I was worried about her. I saw the gate open the moment she stood before it. And then it was like she'd been swallowed up. I think I should tell the Elder about this, Wolfie? Hmm. I don't know, should you? Is us? Hm, it's all a bit suspicious if you ask me. How did you manage to find your way so deep into Yoshpet? The Wayna tribe can't hold out in this forest for long. The other creatures die out there in an instant. Long ago, there was an Oina girl who got lost out there, though. She was on the brink of death, poor thing. If our tribe Eastland found her out there, Helped her find her way back to the edge of the forest. Hmm. It's funny remembering her after all this time. I suppose she must be all grown up by now. get animals here. Trees in this forest give off a strange pollen. Most animals and monsters stay away because they don't like it. We're lucky because it's kept our village safe over the years. There have been more monsters on the prowl lately though. I know, they're all so cute. They're starting to come deeper and deeper into the forest. That's small for a wolf and have some strange marking. You don't seem to be a bad wolf, which is all that counts. Thanks. Have I been over there? Yeah, I have. I see that chest is open. <laughs> I think we've been all around these places.
Oh. I think I know whose place this is supposed to be. All the crumpled up paintings on the ground and everything. strange red markings. I'm not mistaken, you're Amaterasu. Oh, there's no mistaking it. Shaku said you left the land of the living long ago. Here you are! Whatever have you been doing all this time? I suppose there's no point in questioning you, dear. Now then, I think I can hazard a guess as to why you're here. Don't you want me to make you a seal, just like I did a hundred years ago? My seal crafting is unrivaled. I'm supposed to remember that, hey? Seal craftsman misses seal. Wow. I gladly make you one, of course, but I can't give you a big discount just because you're a god. The best price I can offer you is. Oh, I don't know. That's kind of steep. As low as I can go. I'd say that's a real bargain, considering my skills. Yes. That's the spirit. Very well, then. I'll make you the finest seal around. For free, naturally. You look so surprised. You should know I wouldn't dream of taking your money. I shouldn't have teased you like that, but... It's the most important work I've had in a hundred years. And I'm going to do my best job ever. First thing we need to do is decide on a design. See the board on the wall there? Use your brush and paint the seal design you'd like. It can be anything, your name, a pattern you like, anything. Summon the artistic fire from deep within and paint it on my board. Well... Question is, what do we paint? Fuck, I don't know. Uh... It's hard to paint with a controller. I'm tempted to just replicate what I did on the mask. your artistic fire. <laughs> I think the eyebrows were a nice touch. I suppose there is some kind of indescribable heat to it. Yes. Sure this is it? Absolutely. fucking lootly Wonderful, this is the one. This design is an expression of your inner self. And now I'll devote all of my own soul to making it for you. Oh, there's one thing I should mention. Don't ever come here again, for I really need to concentrate. Trust my skills, you don't need to look over my shoulder. No doubt you have your own things to be getting on with anyway. The paths are sure to cross again when the time comes. Trust me, it's all about destiny. You be on your way. Don't look back, just follow the path you believe in. 
Remember that face, guys. Oh! We're not going back there. That was it. We picked our seal. Whether we wanted it or not, that's what we're getting. Oh fuck. I thought that would just take me back down to the bottom, but it took me much farther than just there. Can I make it? No. Okay. It's fine. Just wanted a quick way down. There we go. Okay, hi. Right there! Is some kind of wolf? Can't be an ordinary wolf if you got into Ponk Tan like this. Demand that you introduce yourself. That's weird. You can usually understand animals. No idea what's going on inside this wolf's head! The strange makeup and the divine instrument looks so. A feeling I've seen them somewhere before, too. Uh, hold it right there! Remember where I recognize you from? You look just like the wolf in the scroll at Old Ishaku's house. Does that mean you're a friend of our chief Ishaku? That's so. I suppose we better let you in. The home of Ishaku, the chief of the Ponkles. It's resting inside at the moment. Please go on in. Holden has become quite weak. His eyes are particularly bad, so keep that in mind. Make sure you don't give him any trouble. Just bark! Hmm? Hmm? I recognize that smell. Who's there? Bark! No. It can't be. I'd know that bark anywhere. Must be... Amy? Amy! It is you! You departed this world after that brutal battle. Never imagined I would see you again. My eyes have started to fail me in my old age, but... But I can sense it. Sense the tears you're trying to hide, too. Yes, go ahead and ignore me. That's the Amy I know. I don't know how you managed to make yourself so small. That rudeness of yours leaves me in no doubt of who you are! Uh, no longer the young boy you remember me as, Amy. Grown to become the leader of Punk Town. Yes, I'm the legendary swordsman, Ishaku. Self-proclaimed legendary swordsman. Gone up in the world since we last met, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Give me that look, but I know you're impressed. But really, I'm sensing something about you that worries me. Divine powers have weakened considerably. I assume you haven't retrieved all thirteen of them yet, have you? Things have certainly changed since we last fought together. I'll no longer have faith in the gods like they used to. So I suppose it's only to be expected that you're weaker now. It's sad to see you without your old strength. But let me tell you straight, Amy. In your current state, you can't possibly fight off the powers of darkness. So tell me, do you have a companion traveling with you this time? How to know? And you came all this way alone? I wasn't expecting to see you with anyone in particular, mind you. Oh well, never mind. It's no big deal. Amy, I'm sure you already know this, but 
Your current state can't defeat the ruler of darkness. We Ponkles always knew that darkness would come one day. That's why we've been training to be celestial envoys. You seem to have forgotten absolutely everything. Celestial envoys are the messengers of the gods. The gods cannot live on unless people believe in them. Ponkles are the only ones who can communicate with gods. We train as artists to teach the world their divine power. And only the very best of us are chosen to be given the honor. The honor of being named a celestial envoy. I was the sixth celestial envoy when I traveled with you. But I'm old now, and I'm not as strong as I used to be. So I decided to take everything that I've learned and teach it to my people. Very strict, but it's paid off. Now almost all of them have what it takes to be a celestial envoy. So, Amy, take a look around the village and talk to them. It's up to you to decide who will be the seventh celestial envoy. Whoever you choose will accompany you on your journey. Amazing paintings will show the world your divine power. If people believe in you, your powers are sure to return. Then and only then will you be able to defeat the darkness. What is it? Hm. Ignoring me again, are you? It doesn't matter. I can tell what you're thinking anyway. You're thinking about the spirit gate, aren't you? Only a fool would be interested in something like that. That loathsome gate invites misfortune, I tell you. If you open it, you'll be engulfed in a vile, sinister air. There's no reason in the world you'd ever need to open it. Anyway, it can't be opened with, without my trusty sword, Denjin Maru. Never mind that. How's your search for a celestial envoy going? It must be hard to choose with all the talent here. What? Is there something you want to tell me? Just for the record, I don't have a grandson anymore. That no-good rascal gave up on his training and ran away with one of my treasured paintings. He's no longer a grandson of mine. I've washed my hands of him. Hmm. Who do you think the grandson is? Okay, he's just eating the same stuff. That's all the inf I think that's all the information that we need. We got the bead. No, we didn't. We're missing a couple. Oh, uh, whatever. We'll come back. This place we can come back to, so we don't have to worry about. Done yet? What? Looks like you want to say something. Spirit gate? You're telling me Lika went through it? Huh, you're as easy to read as a book. Well, I ain't gonna go in there either. It's nothing but trouble. If you have to go, ask that old man Ishaku to be your guide. Ison? Is that really you? Who's there? Ison, it's me, Mia! Oh, Mia! So you've finally come home! And I bet you've become a real celestial envoy! Just like Grandpa Ishaku, and everyone knew you could be. Why don't you come into the village? Oh, I get it. You don't want to go see him, right? Put a cork in it! What? What's with this celestial envoy business? Give me a break. What good would it do to become something like that? I'd rather live happy and carefree. I can't believe you'd say that. 
does that mean you don't paint anymore? Conkles are supposed to help people believe in the gods. Otherwise, the gods will remain forever powerless, remember? Said put a cork in it! You like painting so much, go for it, but you can count me out. We'll hawk your silly ideas and harebrained plans somewhere else. Eason! Go away, we're busy! We have urgent business beyond the spirit gate. What? Listen, I don't have time to help you with your boring old paintings. Let's get out of here, Annie. Hasn't Facebook been down all day? Eason, wait! Eason, are you really going to the spirit gate? Are you trying to find a little Oina girl by any chance? Come on, Amy, we've taste wasted too much time here already. Let's go already. Oh, I don't bother with Facebook anymore. Just... Was there not a save point here? I guess not. Deeper in we go. Okay, Emmy. Spirit Gate is further on this way. Even we Ponkles hardly go that far into the forest. Internet, I swear to fucking god. Nobody knows when it was made or even who made it. They say that opening the gate only invites disaster. I doubt we'll find any curiosity seekers around there. After all, no one but the chief of the Ponkle clan can open it. Plus, the road to the forest depths is like a maze. Even more confusing than the part Ga Kai guided us through. I mean, that was pretty linear, but whatever. But if you're really bent on going through there, I'll be your guide. What's it gonna be, Amy? Let's go. Okay, let's run full speed to the spirit gate. Now stick close to me, Furball. I don't want you getting lost. call this more confusing as much as it's just a little harder to navigate. And there's more trees. Always trees. Always now and forever with the trees. The fucking trees. Take a nice hop, skip, and jump over. Almost draw the symbol for wind. You know. Oh, is there an inner? There must be an inner Yash Pet section of the Stray Beats. What kind of pizza are you ordering? Gotta be pepperoni. Not pineapple, what the fuck is wrong with you? Jamie! We usually get, like, uh, 
pepperoni, sausage, and bell peppers. Yeah. Hi, fucker. I mean, demon scroll. You know, I used to really love cheese a lot too. Like, I would get like extra cheese. And I still love cheese. Fuck, I want pizza so bad. My stomach is like... I almost feel like you guys could hear it because it's just like... Rrrr. Fuck! There's three of them over there. Hey, I like bell peppers. Whoa. Nice try, bitch. Olives are disgusting. I fucking hate olives. me sir did you want to do that again ow yeah you sure did that again <laughs> I do like mushrooms too the Amazon Prime van. Also, if you think I'm gonna make it through in time, you have way too much faith in me. I know I'm gonna run out of time, I just want the fucking beads. Before time up. 
middle of the forest and you're tired already? Any idea how tough it was to drag you this far? Come on, Furball, run with everything you got this time. I'm surprised that this doesn't give you a game over. I've never actually gotten a game over playing this. They're so they're incredibly forgiving. Okay, we don't need to be speedster over here, we just need to get through. Come on. Cuban pizza? What's that? What's what's on a Cuban pizza? Ice? Oh wait, that's that's what I am right now. like sauerkraut and I'm just like no mayo on a pizza That's a hard pass. Bananas? No! Like, I'll, if it's a dessert pizza, that's a different story. But, like, on a written. Like, bananas on a fucking regular pizza? Fuck off. Getting into the real pizza topping discourse over here. Pizza, which is literally just a giant chocolate chip cookie. That's good stuff. Mayo and bananas? Ah! Uh. Why? guys like that? Because I hate it. Check Gogurt on a tortilla shell! Wait, is there a chest over there? Oh, fuck. the tortilla shell. That meow constantly makes fun of you for. Oh 
Oh my god. A whole banana? Just make a whole fucking banana split taco at that point. You have a deal on the three topping pe Yeah! That's why I said those three toppings, because that's because we usually get the like the, the large three topping pizza. I didn't notice that that was uh Big ol' hunk of wall right there is the spirit gate. Okay. Did you fight the Ark? No. when it was built or even who built it. It looks like something off of the Ark. That sounds good, Jamie. That sounds good. All we know is that it's been here since the age of myths. That's a whole lot older than even old man Ishaku. Uncle Chief's clan has served as its gatekeepers for generations. I've seen that. I've seen that done. But that needlessly opening this gate only invites disaster. I have no idea what kind of disaster it might be. I'm gonna force this gate open. After all, I have no other choice if Leek is on the other side of that of this thing. Stand back, Amy. Well, what do you fucking know? It actually opened. Why? Old Fanny Shaku would have my head if he knew what I just did. Let's just keep this between you and me, Amy. Let's just look at that light. It looks way too pretty to be anything that invites misfortune. What are you looking at, furball? Door's open, ain't it? Uh... Hello? The guts to go on through it? Guys? Turn back now after all I've been through, I swear I'll... Huh? Okie? Hello again, Isan and Amaterasu, was it? Thought I'd come and join the fun. I've seen the spirit gate open. Say opening it only invites disaster. What are you doing here anyway? And how the heck did you get this far into Yashvet to begin with? Oh, you must be talking about this forest's power to confuse beasts. Indeed, we half man, half beast join us should feel the effects. It seems that the sacred sword Kotone has kept me safe. It's no surprise, as the sword itself has driven me here. All of ice shall shatter and open the way to the heavens. Kotone gro gl grows? Glows silver! Prophecy foretells when Katone starts glowing, it's a sign that the demon shall soon fall. What's more, some say that even the heavens will be within reach. What the heck's that 
supposed to mean? Wait, hasn't even begun to glow. Must not have slain nearly enough monsters yet. If that's the case, the spirit gate should be just the thing. Wait. Give those monsters of misfortune a taste of Katone. Okay, wait! I have no idea what's on the other side of this thing. All we know is Lika somehow ended up going through it. Guarantee you're gonna find more than you bargained for in there. That's what I'm hoping for. The sake of Katone. I... You dumbass. No! Wait! Annie! Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Talk about the spirit gate and misfortune. Hey, this place looks familiar. Yeah, that's it. Looks just like Kamiki Village. <laughs> Miki, <laughs> you got auto modded. <laughs> That tiny village in Shinshu Fields. <laughs> How do you always manage to set off auto mod chase? That's where the whole legend of Orochi began. Never crossed the sea and set foot on Nippon before. The divine guidance of Kutone must have led me here. The monsters of this land shall now taste its cold steel. Wait, don't go running off! Oh god. Oh, Oki, wait! What about Lika? gone. Oh well. Anyway, this really is Kamiki Village, isn't it? I'm getting a different vibe from here. That's strange. Why is there a full moon again already? Hey! Tune in C's tree like every day, oh god. Is this where Sakuya's tree was? What's this dinky little seedling doing here? Huh? Wait a second. You're some kind of god, aren't you? I'm a witch sprite. They call me Shakuya. Young wood sprite, Shakuya. Did she say her name is? Shakuya? Sounds kind of familiar. Anyway, where the heck's Sakuya's tree? Sakuya? That's me! Yeah, yeah, we know already, kiddo. You grown ups are busy right now, why don't you go off and play? Excuse me, God. Are you looking for me? Did you say God? Hmm, guess the innocent eyes of a child can see the truth, Amy. Ama? Mama, Mr. Black and me, Shakuya, let's be friends, okay? Go get pizza. Pizza sounds really good. Mr. Bug, better watch it, kiddo. Mama, when did you get to Kamiki Village, anyway? Knew it. We are in Kamiki. Better have a look around, furball. Damn it, all these trees need to bloom again. I mean, they don't need to, but. It's gonna bother me if they're not. Hey, 
Thank you for your swift growth, Cortana. Hmm? What do you want with us? Hey, Gramps. Still tearing up the dance floor, I see. What happened to the sacred tree? That's so small all of a sudden. Someone put a curse on it or what? what talking about, you fool. Lovingly raising the seedling to bring peace to the land. It shall drive away Orochi and all of his minions. Orochi? Where the heck have you been, Gramps? Sneaky Snake's pushing up daisies right about now. Don't have time for this nonsense, you fool. Year after year, you've come to our village to claim the sacrifice. This time, you even learn to speak. Well, today's the day I say enough is enough! Whoa! Settle down there, Gramps. I don't want you throwing out your back or anything. Silence, you foul beast! Today's the day I say enough is enough! Okay, bye. Another place and another time, huh? Blatantly obvious chest. <laughs> Don't fool me, you dumb wolf. Pretending to come sniffing out a sacrifice for Orochi. All the time you're just waiting to dig up my field. A break, lady. I got too much on my mind as it is. Oh my god. She pissed. Alright. This is the missable thing that's in this place. Because you're, you're only here once. This is the thing that's missable. It's the dog. And I just got him, so we're good. Why are you- why do you have a UFO instead of like a fucking dragonfly or whatever? Hey, you're Shiranui. I don't need any of Orochi's familiars around here. Shiranui? Orochi's familiar? Does that have something to do with our slaying Orochi? Well, you're gonna have to wait in line for an autograph. Shut up. The only one who's gonna get slain is you, you monster! Monster? What's gotten into you, Mushi? Oh no, he's pissed too. Yeah, sweetie, how you doing? I hope you can cut that Susano some slack. He's so shy that... What's that all about? Oh, she locked the door on us. It is the night of the full moon. That day is once again upon us. This year, the lovely young Nami will be Orochi's next victim. The young Nami? Wow, she sounds so hot! Where's she at? 
Huh? Hi. Is that Shiranui? Please, I'm begging you. Have mercy on me. I'll make you some yummy cherry cakes. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, Grandma. What about that lovely young Nami you were talking about? Assumed cherry cake. Cherry flavored sweet bean cake. Usually I make a second save here, but I'm not too concerned, because we already got the thing that we can miss, so... Hi, do you have anything to sell? Perfect white coat, it's razor sharp eyes. Must be Shiranui. Ah, someone help me! That would taste good, no, no, I'd be a terrible sacrifice! What the heck? He thinks you're gonna eat him or something. It does look kind of plump. This plump is a dumpling, but I'm poisonous. Yes, poisonous. Look, I'll sell you anything you want. Please spare me. Oh my god. Look at, look at his portrait. He's just like, ah! Oh. not that much different. Slept like a log. Must have dozed off while training to defeat that no good Shiranui. Hmm? Who are you? What do you want with me? I'm Nagi, the greatest warrior ever. Wait a minute. You're. Shiranui! Still dreaming or something, Pops? Being greatest warrior ever? Give me a break. Brought along a little pea-sized monster this time? I'll have you... I have you now, Shiranui, you monster! Monster? Come on, Pops, wake up! You must still be dreaming! What's with this Shiranui business? You still obsessed with the past? Past? Stop speaking nonsense. Look at that moon! Night is the night when the moon waxes to its fullest. Marks the day when Orochi shall claim his human sacrifice. Orochi? Eason, have you really not connected the dots yet? Wait a second. What the heck's going on? The sinister air? That Chuck Orochi must be stirring. How's that possible? like to feign innocence, Shiranui. You know you come each year to size up Hiroji's human sacrifice. This time, things are going to be different. Right, Nagi shall put an end to your devilish work. Hiroji? Nagi? No, it can't be. 
right, Amy? I mean, the Spirit Gate couldn't have possibly sent us back to Miki Village a hundred years in the past, could it? Uh-oh. Who knocked him out cold? What's going on? I mean, he keeps calling himself Nagi. But he was Susano. And again, he looks just like the statue of Nagi in the village. Hmm. That vibe in the village and the villagers' reactions. And now this big old full moon. Now I'm positive. I really did go back to Kamiki Village a hundred years in the past. Get it now? But he thought Shiranui came to the village before the festival to size up the next sacrifice. He thought Shiranui was Orochi's familiar or something. So that's why he called you Shiranui and wanted to fight you. Hey, wait a second. Where's the real Shiranui, then? Uh-oh. I have a bad feeling about this. Just hope our coming here hasn't totally messed up history. Hmm? Look! Villagers are all gathered in front of his house. Nagi, please come out. We need your help. Shiranui once again roams our village. Seeks to size up Orochi's next victim. Moon is at its fullest tonight. The dreaded Orochi. We've seen this before. Persidero has marked the home of the Chosen Maiden. This will be the hundredth maiden since this terrible rite began. Must our village suffer such tragedy yet again? Poor Nami. I think we'd end up having to send you to that beast. Nagi, I trained long and hard to slay the dreaded Orochi. Achoo! I shall not lose faith. I'm not afraid to face Orochi in the Moon Cave. I know you will put an end to Orochi and this dreaded, dreadful rite. I'm going to go change into the white sacrificial robe. 
everyone. Go hide in your homes. It's not safe out here. Ah, that Orochi. Sick of him and his antics. Hmm? Hey, wait! Maybe it wasn't such a good idea knocking Nagi out like that. I mean, what about the legend? You know, the legend says Nagi disguised himself as the maiden to be sacrificed and then slew the dreaded Orochi. How's he gonna do that if he's out cold right here? This is gonna change history itself. What are we gonna do? Have to look for Lika later. We gotta think of something quick. Hmm. I guess we can make sure things go just like in the legend. Means we'll have to dress Nagi up like a maiden. Now then, where to begin? Oh, I know! Nami said she was gonna go change into a white sacrificial robe. We gotta swipe that robe and put it on Nagi, then get him over to Orochi's place. It should more or less fulfill the legend. At least, hope it will. Anyway, we better hurry before Nami takes off. Let's go swipe that white sacrificial robe. Sacrificial robes there for the taking. Hey, what's with the glowing barrel of sake? Think it could be eight purification sake? Keep it down for a while. I'm not the one who's talking. Well, I mean, I am, but Eason's the one that's fucking shouting over here. Mommy must be purifying herself before putting on the robe. Pretty noble of her, considering Orochi's gonna gobble her up. But it's her devotion. Made the legendary eight purification sake. I could just get an up and close view of her like this. I. Oh god. Anyway, this is our big chance, Amy. Snag her white sacrificial robe while she's busy bathing. You ready? Sacrificial robe is ours. Let's go get that Nagi into this thing. Let's go play dress up. Okay, we got the robe. All we gotta do is get Pops here into it. Don't ask me how they managed. I have no idea. Did he look pretty. Now Nagi can pretend to be the maiden sent to be sacrificed. Yeah, pretend to be the maiden with all that uh, facial hair, you know. Should be just like the legend said. Right, Amy? Not bad if I say so myself. Anyway, let's get on with it. Take him over to the moon cave before he wakes up. Girl, he's all dressed up for his date with destiny. 